Hello buddy, it's Ben Dominator and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Chapter 3 of Fortnite and why I think it has the potential to be not only better than Chapter 2, but even Chapter 1. Because so far, I believe that Chapter 3 is off to a fantastic start. And if they keep this going throughout the rest of the chapter, we could have one of the best eras of Fortnite to ever exist. Of course, before we get in the video, if you guys do end up enjoying the content, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new because I make videos like this all the time, and you can also use my supporter creator code BENDOMINATOR in the item shop hashtag ad. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. So in my opinion, Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1 was a very good start to this chapter. It was a brand new season, brand new map, tons of great updates, introductions like weathers, clombos, tilted towers, things like sliding were added. The brand new map is fantastic in my opinion. So many great locations, a pretty solid battle pass, not one of my favorites, but still pretty good for chapter three season one. And overall, I very much enjoyed that season, but I was still really skeptical to see how they would continue to build upon it. And now that we have season two, I think we have a lot more context into how Epic is going to handle the future of this chapter. So I want to talk about that today because I believe that this chapter has so much potential. Seeing the launch of season two has made me super excited because for a long time I was really wondering how they were going to build upon season one. Season one had so many good elements and I feel like well season two isn't all positive stuff of course you can see my first impressions video to see some of my negatives. I do think that it is overall an improvement on season one and the formula that season one brought because season one felt a bit more standard a bit more classic a bit more simple as the season went on of course we got introduced to some new mechanics that definitely spiced things up a bit but it was very standard fortnite definitely switched around with the brand new loot pool some people didn't like the meta i didn't find it all too bad but that is definitely something that wasn't that popular so to see it get a big change in the season was very well needed but not only did the meta get changed the entire feel of the game, in my opinion, got changed and improved. They expanded upon things such as the sliding to include more movement, such as mantling and the new combat sprint. And I think those things are just great for movement. Yes, it does feel a little weird to get used to at first, but overall it has been really fun. And then the big thing, no building. That's something that I feel like is going to make the game way more popular in the future. And yes, I'm pretty certain that no building will stick around as an extra mode. I feel like this is just going to be a permanent thing in Fortnite now where if you want to play without building, you can. Of course, the building mode will still be there for you. But for players who want a bit more of a casual experience, maybe a bit easier, a bit more fun for some players, then no building will be an option. And I'm super excited about that. No building is definitely going to be a mode that I will play a lot even after this nine day period is over, assuming that it does come as an extra mode, which most people at this point are pretty certain that that will happen. Of course, not confirmed, but just saying. But yeah, overall, some amazing changes in season two already. And it makes me curious again for season three, but having season two here allows me to kind of contextualize how the rest of this chapter could play out. Because if they keep up this pace, of course, this could be the best era of Fortnite to ever exist, in my opinion. Because you have so many elements that just make Fortnite so fun at the moment, including a brand new extremely fun map that they've been doing a good job of actually implementing changes with. Map changes were something in Chapter 2 that wasn't really that well done in my opinion. A few seasons did it well, but most of the seasons felt quite underwhelming. This season felt perfect. It didn't remove too much from the map, it didn't give us too much, but it also didn't give us too little. I think that map changes are like a really, really hard thing to get right sometimes. Sometimes Fortnite will go way too far out and implement way too much stuff, getting rid of way too many POIs and changing things way too suddenly, making things kind of crazy. I mean, of course, when we get a brand new map like the beginning of Chapter 3, it's going to feel like that, but in a good way, it's kind of confusing in that sense. But it's even more disappointing when we see the map not really change enough when a new season launches. I feel like the map is something that most people are always excited to see change. And in Chapter 2, when that didn't really happen too often, it was pretty disappointing. Not to mention 
the mid-season map changes for Chapter 3 have been incredible as well, and I hope they keep this pace up. Last season saw the introduction of not only Tilted Towers, but also Covert Cavern, which has also seen a big upgrade during Chapter 3 Season 2. Chapter 3 Season 2 brought brand new POIs as well, including Synapse Station and the Fortress, including a bunch of new blimps around, of course, the upgrade to Command Cavern, and all that kind of stuff, and it just makes the map feel different enough to just distinguish it, but also doesn't make it feel too unfamiliar or too much like they got rid of a bunch of popular POIs because they didn't really get rid of any POIs, which I think is really important because this map is still fresh, this map is still brand new, so it wouldn't really make sense to do that. So yeah, first big point for chapter 3 is the map. It's incredible so far. Next up, the meta. This is a bit more controversial. I would argue that the meta is probably the worst thing about Chapter 3 so far, both in Season 1 and Season 2. I don't hate either of these metas, but this is the area where I've seen Epic make the most confusing decisions, in my opinion. Certain items being vaulted has been strange, certain items staying has been strange, certain balancing changes haven't really made too much sense to me. They really seem to hate one-shot snipers, they really seem to want SMGs to reign supreme, they really seem to not want to have a normal standard AR, and they have made shotguns the most strange and confusing thing out of anything. It's just really odd to me. I don't hate it, but it is the weakest thing in my opinion, and this is one of the areas that I think is actually worse than Chapter 1 and even Chapter 2. I think even Chapter 2 handled the meta better. Yes, it was far more boring, but I think that at the start of Chapter 2, we saw a better meta introduced. I think right now the meta is really kind of weird. Epic's been making some weird decisions. I get they're trying to change things up, but I think I would prefer it if we just kind of went back to the basics and implemented some other things on top of that. I think changing things around too much has been kind of disorienting. A lot of weapons have been changing, and there's been some good changes like introducing red dot scopes to a lot of weapons making the aim down sights kind of more important to use. But weakening shotguns and buffing SMGs so much, weakening snipers, doing all that kind of stuff, it just doesn't really feel right. And well, the weapon pool has been kind of weird for this meta, one thing that really shines about the meta is the item pool. We've been seeing some great item returns and amazing heals come to the game. And while I think Season 1 was a bit oversaturated with healing items, Season 2 does a really good job of balancing the heals and the utility items. So I really enjoy the item pool. I think the item pool is definitely handled better than at least Chapter 2. I don't know about Chapter 1. Chapter 1 had such a good meta for a lot of their seasons, it's really hard to compete with that. But overall, Chapter 3's meta, it hasn't impressed me nearly as much as the other aspects of it. I don't hate it, but overall, Weapon Pool has kind of been weird. Item Pool has been great, but... It, the overall meta hasn't really been that fantastic, in my opinion. But moving back to the positive aspects, the introduction of brand new movement has been fantastic. It's been a great way to shake up the gameplay, make things feel more quick and swift and more fun, and I'm interested to see how it's going to work when building gets reintroduced. Mantling, wall climbing, all that kind of stuff, sprinting, sliding especially, was a really great addition for Season 1. The movement improvements have overall just been great and makes the game just feel more fun and more smooth and just more easy. Interesting. And this is one of those long-term changes that I feel like is going to affect the game forever. One of those improvements that's really an evolution of the format. And I think it's really important that Epic is doing things like this to kind of shake up Fortnite. Yeah, maybe some shakeups like the meta like I talked about earlier aren't that well done, but things like new movement and no building do a really good job of shaking up the game for the future. I'm telling you guys right now, Chapter 3 is going to be a completely new era, with no building game modes, brand new movement, pretty much entirely new weapon pool whether you like it or not. It's all going to be different, and this map is different. Yes, it is Fortnite. It still feels like Fortnite, but we are moving into a brand new era of the game, and I think this era is going to be the best it's ever been. Assuming they keep this up for the rest of the season and the rest of the chapter, this is going to be a great era of Fortnite in my opinion. And that's not even counting creative mode. Creative mode's been seeing some insane changes, good and bad, but once we see the release of Creative 2.0, it's really going to kick things into high gear. And well, in chapter 2, I would have thought that creative mode would overtake BR in the near future, 
Seeing all the things that are happening to BR right now, I really do think it's going to see a huge resurgence. I mean, you've already seen it with content creators and a bunch of old players coming back to the game. But not only are they coming back to the game, they are staying with the game. A lot of people come back to the game once a new season is released, but these people are staying with it and they're not just leaving after a few days. They are staying for the duration of the season and a lot of people are just interested and excited to see what happens next with the game. And while not everyone is loving it at the moment, Moment. I personally think it's great and I will say I have seen quite a bit of positivity within the community during the last few days. So I think that Fortnite is heading in a good direction. I think BR is truly going to see a resurgence and I am super excited for the future of chapter 3 and I hope that you are too. But let me know in the comments what do you guys think about what I talked about today? Do you think chapter 3 is as much potential as I do or do you not care for it at all? I'd honestly be really interested to know your guys' thoughts. If you guys like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, if you are new because I make videos like this all the time and you can also use my supportive creator code Ben Dominator in the Fortnite item shop hashtag ad. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and goodbye.